The following is a process line for solar dried and smoked marine fish. The process flow line is inspection and purchasing, sorting, gutting, washing, smoking or drying, storage and finally cooking. Inspection and purchasing. Inspect the fresh fish before purchasing and select only wholesome fish free from contamination and detectable spoilage. If drying may be delayed, transfer the fish into insulated containers or any clean suitable container and use eyes to keep the fish fresh. Alternatively, cover the fish with wet cloth in a shed. Salting and icing. Sort the fish into similar sizes as much as possible. Transfer the fish into containers such as basins, buckets, wooden vats, etc. And then ice where and when possible. Gutting. Immediately gut the fish depending on the size. Remove the gills and scales. Dry the smaller fish like sardines whole. Cut thick and large fish like shark, tuna into stripes or rectangular blocks of about 1 inch or 25 millimeters thick. Washing. Use fresh water, sea water or chlorinated water to wash the fish thoroughly in order to remove bacteria, backbone blood and black lining of body cavity. Preparations for drying, dripping and initial preparations. Transfer fish to be dried onto the drying trays and lay them touching one another without overcrowding until the tray is full to capacity, if possible. Transfer the tray with fish to a shed and keep the tray at an angle to allow dripping of excess water for half an hour to one hour. Drying without salting. Transfer the fish after dripping into the dryer or drying rack, then leave to dry. Preparations for drying with light salt. Salt the fish in the buckets of plastic basins just to taste, then transfer to drip, then to the dryer or drying rack to dry. Drying with heavy salting. This is useful when drying is delayed or excess fish landed. Use 1 kilogram of salt to 10 kilogram of fish. Lay fish in a clean container, which can be a bucket, plastic basin or wooden vat. Such that the fish lies on a layer of salt at the bottom and alternates with a final salt layer at the top. Arrange the fish by alternating head and tails. Scatter a bit of salt between the layers of fish. Pile the fish with flesh side up except for the last layer. Pile the last layer with the skin side up and cover with salt. Cover the top of the container. Take the fish out of salt when ready to start drying. This can be the following day. Wash the fish thoroughly to remove the excess salt. Place the fish skin side down on a drying tray. Lay the trays at an ankle in a breezy shade place to drip for between half an hour to one hour then transfer to the dryer or drying rack to dry. Drying. Transfer the drying trays with fish onto the drying cabinet of the solar dryer. Turn the fish three to four times on the first two days. Interchange positioning of the fish to ensure adequate heat penetration. Continue drying till ready. This can take three to four days if the fish is one inch or 25 millimeters thick. Small fish like sardine will take one day on a sunny day. 
To know when drying process is adequate, press the thickest part of the fish between the thumb and the forefinger. If no impression can be made, the fish is sufficiently dry. Transfer the fish to rectangular open plastic boxes to cool for 2 to 3 hours. Cooking The fish can be cooked with the normal ingredients, if not from heavily salted lot. If heavily salted, place the fish in fresh water for a minimum of 12 hours. Change the water 3 to 4 times. Drain the water then cook or stew with the normal ingredients. Storage Leave the fish in the open plastic milk boxes and store in airy places or store fish in wax cartons and enclose with moisture scavengers available in the market or wrap the fish in wax paper, pack in thin wooden box tightly covered and store in a cool dry place. Waste Disposal Transfer the waste in leak-proof containers, empty in a pit, and bury to not only preserve the environment but also to provide compost. <laughs>